Y'all see my truck over there? That's where I park my truck at on the weekends. I stay right down the same street right here. I've been waiting on the load since about, since about uh 7.30 this morning. It's 9.54 right now. I just got a load. Martin's Reynolds. Dunn, North Carolina. It's right up the street. Y'all wonder why the hell I'm out here walking. My DM just called me. So I kind of cut the video off, but this is the place right here. I left my truck over there. I see trucks out here all the time, so I walked over here. I want to see how to get in first if I try to drive in, because somebody took this fence down a couple weeks ago. They just got it back up, so I need to find out. Where we going, buddy? Where we going? Y'all see that white pickup truck in front of me? I gotta follow him. I gotta follow him. I had to take the yellow light. He said it shouldn't be too hard to get there. So I don't Hey, he said I'm gonna take you away. It's easy in the truck. Speak warning. I take this route all the time right here. Straight. This road takes you straight back to uh to another to another pilot, big pilot. Right there beside 95. Let's see, let's see where we're going. Where we're going, buddy. This next stop, like you make a left, you go through downtown. Ah oh, man, that's the way we're going too. I knew it. They got a Roadmaster driving school right over there where I was just at. And they, they take the students down this road. Uh, I got a yellow light. I can't take this one. Huh. Yeah, they got a Roadmaster driving school right down the street. They take they take the students through this downtown area. I guess so they can uh, learn how to shift and stop lights and stuff like that. Shouldn't be too hard to make this left. As long as there ain't no cars over there. They're going to have to back up. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it, D. We ain't just start driving. Ain't that bad? You see all these empty spots in the downtown area? Let's go downtown. You know, everything pretty much closed. So ain't a lot of traffic out here right now. Right here on my left, where you see those three white trucks at, that's uh, my, where my accountant, uh, that's my accountant's office. I'm about to blow the horn over there. Yeah, hey. It's my accountant right there on the left. I had to blow my horn and say hello. Ah, we gotta make a, we gotta make a right turn now. I'm catching all the, I'm catching all the relevant. Yellow lights and red lights. Let's get all the way over here. Come to a complete stop. Make sure we ain't got no traffic coming over here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this one. Take all this lane. Make this turn. Here we go. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. I must say so myself. Not too bad at all. Hello? Hello? What's up? See that text message I sent you? 
That said Fayetteville Avenue. You said Dunn, North Carolina. Yeah, right there at the railroad tracks. Martin Reynolds, where you see, I always see them trucks at. Yeah, I never got loaded from there, but I just had to pull up. I had to go over there and check in, then I had to follow this man on a pickup truck. He got me over here on the other side of town now. Come over. Let's go into Georgia. Let me call you back in, because I just pulled up over here and this man about to get out. All right. That was my girlfriend just called. Wait on this guy to get out this pickup truck. And it look like, looks like it's another flatbed right there, as y'all can see. So I know he's in front of me. <sighs> Guess I'll sit here and wait for a little while. Woo, just as I just as I expected. I'm behind this guy in the red truck. Not sure what kind of truck that is. I know it's a red truck. What's that damn symbol, man, for that truck? The million mile guy at Melton, he has a Western Star. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong. I leave that to y'all truck experts to uh, figure that out. Yeah, that's what I think it is, a Western Star. Looks like it has a W on the top of that, top of that uh, chrome bumper. Not the bumper. The bumper is chrome too, but the, the grill is chrome too. And he got two stacks chromed out. Yeah, my damn girl. I sent my girl the picture of the load. It said Fayetteville Avenue, but under that it had the uh, the city of Dunn, North Carolina. But all she saw was the Fayetteville Avenue. Yeah, she was tripping. My DM talking about. Let me see what time this load. What time is the window for this load? Come my my girl talking about. Oh no no that's my DM talking about. Oh you might be able to get it out today. That's what my DM told me. But uh, let's see. Pick up seven three. Delivery seven thirty to five. She was like yeah you might be able to get it there by five. I'm not sure if I can get it up by five because they're loading the drive van right now. And then they got another flatbed they got to load. So yeah, if I if I could leave right now, I could probably make it by five, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Let's see how far away. I know it's at least a five hour drive. Four hours, 16 minutes. That's what Google Maps says, but In, in truck terms, four hours, 16 minutes might be five hours. And I know I'm gonna have to stop and get some fuel. So this is right outside of, uh, let's see, there's Manning, South Carolina, Summerton, South Carolina, St. George, Savannah. It's right outside, right outside Savannah, Georgia, closer to Statesboro. Go to Statesboro and go north on 301. It's just north of Statesboro, Georgia. They got a lumber yard in Statesboro. I picked up I picked up there before. And they got shingles that come out of Savannah. They got other stuff that comes out of Savannah too. But I picked up shingles out of Savannah. So I'm just looking forward to my damn reload, really. Hurry up and wait, D. Hurry up and wait. That's what we've been doing for the last couple weeks. Everybody been staying safe with this, you know, COVID-19. It's really messing up the groove, man. Really messing up the groove. This COVID-19 is doing us, is doing us dirty. And I think, let's see how many deaths. I could, I could quote and say a number, but I like to deal with facts. So let's let's see. We're gonna we're gonna check out the coronavirus latest in the United States. 
I don't like I don't like to speak on stuff that I don't really know. Let's see. Oh man. Last time I saw this, we was at like 7,000. Oh, drive is coming out. Come on, drive in. Gotta go trucking. How the hell are they gonna get out? That flatbed might have to back up. Come on, Mr. Drive in. Get up out of there. Flatbed going in now. Yeah, last time I checked this thing about the coronavirus, it was like 7,000 deaths. Now we are at 10,980. And 4,758 of those are in New York. New Jersey's in second place with 1,000. Louisiana, fourth place, 512. Massachusetts. What the hell? I thought he would just swing inside the gate. That's what I was thinking I was gonna have to do. Just swing inside. It's not it's not a Western star, I see it. It's an inter, it's an international. Y'all see it now too. What the hell is he doing? What the hell you doing, buddy? Oh, I see. You got to back in. Oh, I see. Hey, he's blind. Hey, he's blindsiding that thing in there. Yeah, he's blindsiding it. Get on in there, driver. Get on in there, driver. You know what? I was thinking I was in a bad spot for where I was at. Yeah, get that thing in there, driver. Get it on in there. Yeah, he blindsided that thing. Now me, from the, from the, from where I'm at, I don't got a blindside. I, I could just do a uh, a regular 90 degree back to my drive side. Come on, buddy, get it in there. Hey, hey, that guy, uh, oh, he got a ground guy. He got a ground guy. Guess guess what? I ain't got a ground guy. <laughs> hey, so when I do it, I'm on my own. Yeah, get it in there, driver. Hey, I tell you what, if, if somebody, somebody drives a truck that looks like that, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. <laughs> Now, if you see somebody in a in a in an old freight liner like mine, hey, I, I might I might be I might be just fresh out of damn uh, truck driving school. But yeah, he driving the truck look like that. I think I think that guy know what he's doing. Yeah, I'm surprised California. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. California's in sixth place. I'm surprised. All the people that got out there in California, I thought they would have been about like New York. Now, when I back in, all I gotta do is pull straight up past the gate, just do a regular back to get up in there. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, man. Let's see what he's getting, cause I wonder what I'm getting too. I'm picking up soil, so you know I don't know if they got it in some some kind of plastic bags or what, or tubs. I don't know. Back, 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 back to my professor studies. Yeah, so we got a uh, hundred. Okay, we got three hundred sixty-seven thousand confirmed cases, nineteen thousand. Almost 20,000 now recovered. 
and 10,980 deaths. Now where I live at, yeah, I think we only got like, I think yesterday we was, we just got our fourth case. That's just, that's just in my county. Now in the state of North Carolina, I'm looking at it now, we have 2,870 cases and 33 deaths. And I don't know anybody personally that has died from it, but I do know one of my buddies that I, uh, one of my high school buddies, his supervisor, uh, he called it and he died from it. And he that he worked in uh in Raleigh, uh, Wake County. So he caught it up there in Wake County somewhere. So hey, hey man, it's the best thing we can do, man. You know, we gotta stay safe out here. Stay safe, you know, keep your hands clean, don't go on the truck stop, put your hands on everything, use the bathroom, try not to touch the door when you leave back out, open it up with a paper towel. You know, just little little small stuff like that, man. You see anybody doing some coughing or something like that, you know, yeah, get the hell away from them. Ain't, ain't, I mean, ain't so much you can do. Unless you're just going to sit in the house 24 hours and quarantine yourself. But, hell, we got money to make. You know, we got to move. We got to make this money. Then you got some truck drivers say, oh, that ain't about the money. I'm going to sit home. Hey. Hey, to each his own. They ain't started loading that guy yet. That guy right there in the pickup truck back. Little young kid. That's who brought me over here. I'm trying to think of my exit strategy. How I'm going to get back out of here. I ain't going back straight down that road. I'm going to go back the same way I came. See that white pickup? That's the, that's the young kid. I'm gonna go back straight out the same way I came. Hey. Yeah, oh yeah, because I go back out that way and make that lift. So I gotta make I gotta make a lift, then another lift. And that'll take me right back to the pilot, to the big pilot. I get on 95 South right there. Let me start running my mouth. I know y'all getting bored. All I do is talk. Yeah, they loading that guy now. Yeah, I've, I've hauled stuff like that before. It ain't nothing but, but uh, bags on a pallet. That's all it is. Got them wrapped in plastic. Throw a strap over each one. Two on the front, two in the back. Call it a day. They're not that tall either. They're real tall. You know, you have to put that X on the back. But those little small pallets like that, yeah, that's fine. Flatbed game. We out here. Perfect. This cake. Perfect.
Sylvania, Georgia. That's where I'm at. I can already see. I'm going to have to back out of here. I don't know. He might tell me to turn. I don't know if I can turn around in there or not. Turn around. All the way around. Loop back that way. I might can get out. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get these straps rolled up right now. We'll worry about it. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Probably some snakes in there. Hey, if y'all ain't following my buddy Chris Lockhart on, on YouTube, man, check him out. Hey, Chris, it's your neck of the woods right here, buddy. You like stuff like this. It's the farm stuff. Told y'all I was gonna get it here today. I told y'all. I said I'm gonna get it here today. Summertime is upon us. <laughs> 